man that shows that he can handle the range of emotions in women shows himself that he can also handle his own emotional range. Handling women's emotions, I think that it's scary. It's frightening, it doesn't feel good. It makes you confused, nervous, and sometimes it makes you shaky. And it's still like that for me. And I'm much, much better and moved by women's emotions, but I still get that way when I'm weaving with the woman I'm with right now. Because as a man, and this is quoted at David Data, and this is something I believe as well, a woman's emotions makes a man feel trapped because his strive in life is always towards freedom. So as he begins to deal with a woman, he starts to feel trapped by her constant range of emotions. And it's mainly, of course, by the emotions that are the most intense, which is anger, which is um, fucking frustration, which is uh, outrage. Any of these things that show a man that his freedom is being taken away and that's the way he perceives it. And that's the way he actually responds to it is that, fuck, I just want to get away from this. And that's why guys walk away when they're talking to women, uh, when they first approach them. This is why guys walk away when they're with their, wo when they're with their women and they walk out of the house and say, you know what, you need some time alone and I'll be back. <clears throat> and that's, a, that's absolutely the wrong thing to do in that moment. When you walk away from that girl, when you go approach her, that's the wrong thing to do when her intense emotion comes towards you, whether it be an intense emotion of, who the fuck is this guy, uh, fuck off, or, okay, if she says fuck off, you leave, but if it's anything that's showing you discomfort or showing you that you must be the witness as she gives you that, scary it is and it's okay it's okay and it's okay for you as a man to go women's emotions are sometimes scary women's emotions are sometimes really fucking not for the moment sometimes it's just totally out of context but learning how to handle women's emotions is going to be able to build inside of you a strength to her changing the emotional range and even better, what's even better than that, the good thing about this is that once you start to build a good relationship to your own emotional range, women's emotions, they become less scary. They actually become, even for me now, I say scary as a thing of like you feel in your body that it feels scary, but it's actually not scary to me. You actually feel that when she gives you that, you can match it back. You can give her the same intensity back because you are used to going with your own emotional range and you are okay with your own emotional range. And that leads me into this. Whatever it is that you're afraid of in women, whatever it is, I don't care anything that they give you, whatever it is that you're afraid of in women, you're also afraid of in yourself. And this has been my journey of just understanding women and seeing what is it like to really have women in, your, in my life. What is it like for men to have women in their lives? Why is it that my dad and my brothers and my family and my friends, they can't handle when a woman gives them something intense, when a woman is acting out, when a woman is giving them something that confuses them? Why is it that men can't handle this? And even for me, why is it that I can't handle this? And I feel like I can't handle this. The reason why is truly because I, don't have, I didn't have a strong relationship to my own emotional range. I was afraid of intensity. I was afraid of anything that would come at me in a way where it was completely direct and explosive in uh, the way it would make me feel in my emotions. I was afraid of it. And I was shy away from those situations. So when I used to be with women, they used to get angry and I used to shy away from that. I used to always want to make them feel happy. Women, they, when I used to be with women and I used to feel their intense sexuality coming towards me, like they would be so turned on, wanting me to spank, wanting me to grab hair, wanting me to do all kind of things, I would actually feel scared to do that because I was afraid of my own intensity of side of showing that aggression because every time I, show, I saw aggression showed in my life, it resulted in violence. So I built a, a negative relationship to aggression in any way. And I just always wanted to be the soft man who always wanted to just be nice, who always wanted to make love. 
and that hit me so many times because as I said in my other video that one situation with that girl when she was like oh just grab me and do something that shocked the fuck out of me so much I was like why did she want me to do that what she was really saying to me is that I want you to be able to handle my emotional range and why could not I handle her why did she bring me chaos because I couldn't handle my own emotional range I was afraid of some of the things inside of me I was afraid of expressing the things that she would express and that's why you find yourself frustrated and afraid of women in the way that you are and it's okay man I must tell you that it's okay that you are but you also can do something to change that it's okay to say yes right now I'm fucking afraid because this woman right now she's showing me an emotion that I feel like I can't handle and that's everything from the approach to the bedroom when I'm out there approaching women or when I used to be out there or still now when I was out there first approaching women on the streets <clears throat> they would give me all kind of reactions and I would be afraid of the woman giving me a bad reaction. And the reason why I was afraid was because in some way, I was afraid within myself of coming to terms with the fact that what I was doing, I thought it, was, it wasn't, you know, I didn't know if it was right or not. Like I didn't know, I knew it was right to talk to women because I've been around that my whole life since I was little in the black community. But I didn't know if I was, what I was doing was good. And I was afraid of that. I was like, oh my God, I don't, I don't know if I'm, what I'm doing is good. And I'm afraid of that. And I'm actually putting on the front of, I am afraid of that. And I'm putting on that front. Behind that front is, oh my God, I have all this insecurity about, am I doing this right? Am I even good at this? And the girl would show me so many things by her reaction to let me know that part of myself is not yet handled. I'm afraid of that part of myself. I'm afraid to accept that. I'm afraid to accept the moment of, right now, yes, I just fucked up the situation. Right now, I'm not that good uh, with talking to women on the street because I'm just not developed in knowing the emotional range and how to be able to handle that. Whatever you're afraid of in women, you're also afraid of that in yourself in some way. So you guys are saying to yourself, oh my God, that girl, she thinks I'm a creep. And you're afraid of that. You're afraid of the woman thinking you're creepy because in some way you feel like the intent of going up to a woman and showing your sexuality and, so, and showing who you are and that you're interested in her, in some way you feel like that is creepy. That is the only reason why you feel like the woman will perceive you as creepy because you're already perceiving yourself as creepy. So whatever you're afraid of in a woman, whatever it is that you're afraid of that a woman will give you, look at yourself because it is mirroring something back in yourself. Whatever it is. <clears throat> in conversation, you're afraid of silence. You're afraid of the moments that become silent because your relationship to silence is probably when I get silence, when I get silent, things are awkward. That's probably your truth in yourself that you're living out. So when you're in front of a woman, you're always afraid of that silence because you have attached that silence is awkward. So the fact that it's awkward, every time you're in front of a girl, you're going to feel like, oh no, not that awkward silence again. That's the thing that I know that's awkward, so I better do whatever I can to get away from that. And tell me how does it end up for you? What is it like? How does it work for you when you're doing that? What is it like when you're in front of a girl and you're saying to yourself, okay, right now, I feel like I can't hold silence and that's because I feel like that's creepy or I feel like that's a bad thing to do. I feel like she'll judge me. I feel like she'll think I'm um, completely awkward. Look at yourself and go, what do I feel about silence? What do I feel about it? I feel that silence, and this is what it'll be. I feel like silence is awkward. It's a creepy thing. The woman will walk away. She'll lose interest. And you're manifesting. Because you know why? You've associated that to silence. So in everything that you're afraid of in a woman or a woman thinking about you, a woman feeling about you, you're afraid of that in yourself. And how do I know that? Because I was the same way. I would be silent with women in conversation and think like, not awkward silence. I better just keep things going to let her know that I'm smooth. I'm a smooth guy. I can talk. I can say the right thing when it's needed. Because a part of me was also afraid of the silence. So every time a silence would come, I wouldn't sit in it. And in a way, I, can't, I can't actually don't even know what it feels like anymore because I haven't done it in so long. But I do remember times back in the day where it would be silent and then I would feel like Man, I'm lo I lost her interest. I'm losing her. Feeling like, fuck, I'm losing this woman because I associated that when it's silent, that means that there's interest loss. And it's not the truth. 
interest lost comes from when you both are together and you just figure out there's just nothing there. That's when interest is lost. Interest is lost is when a man is trying to impress. Interest is lost when somebody doesn't agree with the other person in a way where it's like, that is something I completely don't settle for, goodbye. That's when interest is lost. But I must tell you, for you to be able to have many women in your life, for you to be able to have a one, one woman in your life, for you to be able to be a man that can go out there and be successful in the journey of picking up women, you must get comfortable with the emotional range in yourself. You must get comfortable with expressing those things that you're afraid of. That's what it is. Get comfortable with expressing those things that you find yourself afraid of. And me, myself, I was always afraid of expressing anger. I always wanted to be, you know, put on a good show and make it seem like, you know, I'm never angry. And I always was, I was like, why am I afraid of this sensation? Why am I afraid of this emotion? It's because every time I saw anger expressed, it resulted in something bad. So what did I do? I was like, all right, you know what? I don't like expressing anger, but I know that this is the thing I'm afraid of that when they come and torch me. So I must go within myself and come at terms with, okay, I have times where I want to allow myself to express that. And there's nothing wrong with that. Because I used to always think there's something wrong with me expressing intensity uh, behind the, my emotions. And that, what does that mean? Is that giving myself fully away to what I want to express, I always thought that that was something bad. And now I know that's actually the most amazing thing a person can do because that's the separation of somebody who's completely themselves and somebody who's not. And so how much are you willing to give yourself away to your expressions, not allow your expressions, you mean your emotions to control you, but really give yourself away to your expressions without attachment to what's underneath and just express it for what it is so it can dissipate. We're all meant to do that. And once I started doing that, shit started to shift. When I, used to go up, when I started running up to women and saying hello, and they would give me like the complete code, or they would come, like, keep walking and they would go, what do you want? I didn't get shaken by that anymore because I, I was not afraid of intensity anymore. I wasn't afraid of exp expressing intensity in myself. So when intensity would come at me, I'd be like, yeah, I know what that feels like. And I'm not shaken by it. But every guy out there who's, who's afraid of expressing intensity, who's afraid of expressing his emotional range, his own emotional range, he will be afraid of that moment when the girl goes, what do you want? Or she's completely cold. Or she goes, fuck off. Or she goes, uh, this is weird. You will be afraid of that. You absolutely will be afraid of that if you haven't come to terms in yourself that I have all my own emotional range and I'm okay with the emotional range that I have and expressing it to the velocity that it needs. That's everything from being able to express your intense um, anger or your intense sexuality, like really fucking wanting a girl and like having it in your eyes, to like anger and not allowing yourself to just express that bodily, to everything from you being able to express love as well. This is not just the intense side of just the, the negative emotions or the intense side of just, you know, sexuality. This is also the intense side of joy, the intense side of love the intense side of feeling good about something. And when you can express all the range with intensity, this is when you start to be okay with your own emotional range. Now you have your own emotional range. When a woman gives you anything, you can just allow yourself to really sit in that and be the masculine for her. Because you're not afraid, within the, you're not afraid of the feminine within yourself. You're not afraid of your own emotional range. You're able to express that, and as you express that, you start to attract, attract that part of women as well. And women can express that and they can really show you everything. And this is how you're starting to attract women to you who are more emotionally mature. If a woman is comfortable with her own emotional range, that tells you about your own maturity. It is a very, very, is a mirror to your own emotional maturity. <clears throat> if a woman is closed down to her emotions, that tells you how close you down, how close you are in your emotions. Or you will walk away because if a woman is completely closed down, you're not you're a person that's completely open, you would never attract her. Or you will attract a part of her that, that forces her to open and she never will and you'll walk away. You always attract the part of the other person that mirrors yourself. So start to handle your own emotions. As you feel things, really, really give yourself the liberty to express them. And as you start expressing them, what you'll notice that happens 
is that you start to become okay with anything that a woman gives you. Anything that she gives you, you become okay with it. And that's what you really want. You just want to become okay with all the shit that the woman brings you. All the shit that women bring you from the approach all the way through conversation on the date when she's like, when you go in for a kiss and she moves her face and you start to feel the intense emotion of rejection. If you're not rejecting yourself on the inside and saying, I'm a loser, I'm this, I'm this, I'm this, and you already accepted that, yeah, women do that sometimes and uh, that means that she's not comfortable yet and I'm okay with that. Because you're okay with the part of yourself that goes, yeah, I'll express my intensity, I mean my, not intensity, I'll express my emotions of wanting to uh, kiss her, my emotion of wanting to kiss her, which is, you know, desire for her, and I'm okay if it's not received in a moment that I give it. I don't go into rejecting it the moment that I, it, it is, um, it has resistance against it. So I can just be okay in the moments that she don't want to kiss. <clears throat> That's the when you, when you get in the bedroom and she wants you to choke her. That's that's when she wants you to pull her by the hair. That's when she wants you to spit in her mouth or spit on her face or do all these shit that women actually would never tell anybody in the um, in the fucking world or in the community or in anything. They would never tell you that. You know, some people think that if a woman likes that, she's a fucking you know crazy woman. But I gotta tell you right now, there's many sides of a woman's uh, sexuality that you don't know about. And being able to express the intensity about your own sexuality makes that shift. So I would be there, for me, I would be there in the bedroom, like in the past, I, would, I was like, oh, I'm making love, and I was afraid of that part. When I started expressing that part in the bedroom, I would be in the bedroom with women, and without them even saying that, I would just start expressing that, and it would make them go more into it. That's the good thing about it, because once you start expressing your emotional range, a woman feels free to do hers as well. But once she sees you close down in yours, or she sees that you can't handle her, then she becomes chaotic. She starts to do things to really make you get strong in that area. Or she closes down. And the both of them is disconnected from what the feminine really wants. She wants openness. She wants love. She wants intense sexuality. She wants intensity of emotions. Whatever varying degree that it has, she wants it. And allow yourself to build that within yourself. Build the parts of yourself that are not yet developed, that is not yet cultivated. Cultivate the parts of yourself that you're afraid of. Whatever emotion that you're afraid of within yourself, notice that the woman in front of you, she's also gonna be afraid of that within herself because you always get that mirror. So if you want women who are good for you and who can have good experiences with you and that you can have good experiences with, get in touch with your own emotional range and see how things happen. Last point to leave you guys with, what do you do when a woman's expressing her intense emotional range and you started to, you know, see your own range? Like I always say in my videos, in my masculine videos, remain still. Remain penetrative, which means that your eyes are not moving, they're there with her, and that she's screaming or she doesn't want this or she's giving you any emotion that's not love and happiness just allow yourself to bring her back in that place with your unwavering core of I know you want it I'm not afraid of it and once you can see that you're not afraid like most men are she can relax and it'll feel scary it will because you want freedom and you'll feel like you're being trapped you're being trapped but allow yourself to just sit in it and build the immovability that you need for it. This is Tony Solo from The Natural Lifestyles and you guys subscribe below to Essence of Solo in New York City. I'm here until January, so if you guys want to do coaching, please go to naturallifestyles.com, go to the contact page and put in an inquiry. And I hope to see you soon. I'm out.